Thanks for coming back. I'm Lisa with Lisa Cape and Quilts and it's been a while since our last video so I welcome you. Thank you for coming back. We just wrapped up the uh, Mid-Atlanta Quilt Festival that finished last Sunday so almost a week ago. We spent three days there walking through looking at all the quilts and the yarns and the toys and the machines and the fabric and patterns. It, we spent three fun-filled days there and I'm telling you, if they came back next weekend, I'd spend three more days there. It was amazing. I highly recommend if one of the big quilt shows comes anywhere close to you uh, or within driving distance that you go because you leave so inspired just looking at all the different quilts and uh, you get to try the machines, try, try the long arms, try the, the domestic machines and embroidery machines. Um, it... It is a lot of fun. I've always felt that the people are super friendly and they're helpful and they know a lot about their products. And so I always like to sort of investigate on my own and watch tutorials and say, you know, I'm gonna make a list of the things I wanna check out this year when the quilt show comes. And so when I go in, I'm like, okay, I know I wanna look at this machine and I wanna look at this thread and and uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open for this certain pair of scissors or a ruler that, you know, I've written down to keep in mind. Because when you walk in, it's a little overwhelming and it's exciting. And so for me, keeping a list of those things uh, really helps me stay on, on point and uh, helps me focus when I walk in. But just going through, you would be amazed at all of the different kinds of yarns that are there. If you're into yarn, you'll want to check out one of the quilt shows because it's it's more than just fabric and quilts, although that's the main focus. They have um, wool for needle felting. They have um, yarns you'll see in this picture here. It's just a collage of the different vendors that I spent some time with uh, during the quilt show. There's kind of yarns that you don't typically find like at your Walmart or AC Moore's or Michael's or Joann's. These are really fascinating yarns. And I developed my passion with yarn way before I started learning how to crochet and that was with couching and that's what I'm gonna show you today. Walking through the quilt show gives you so much uh, just inspiration and to look at the different styles of quilts. Um, I'm gonna show you here. At, from each artist to artist, you can tell that their personality really shines through in their work. And so I just find that fascinating that each each quilter, each artist uh, shows their pe personality through their work. And uh, these are some of my favorites from this year. If I showed a, a video of all the pictures that I took, we would be here for three days. So these are just some of my favorites this year we were able to purchase an embroidery machine. We got a Bernina B700. And I'm super excited because Harlan has shown a, a high level of interest and excitement about learning how to digitize embroidery images. And so I'm kind of uh, wondering if we might collaborate on a quilt coming up, you know, in a few months after, after we work out our kinks with the machine and learn how things work and he learns and I learn about the software to digitize. That's kind of exciting being able to team up and maybe uh, make a quilt for a show one day. So that's kind of fun. I have been super busy since our last video, so I apologize if a couple weeks have gone by since our last video, but I have been in the shop and I have made some quilts. Uh, the first one was a t-shirt quilt and you'll see that here and, and also I made um, a firefighters tribute quilt and that one's going to actually be raffled off and all the proceeds for that quilt will go to help purchase uh, some equipment for that fire department and so that's exciting and then uh, two different memory quilts for a family from their daughter's clothes from when their daughter was younger and I just love those kinds of quilts uh, that's that's really where my heart is. I love doing the art quilts. I love doing all of that stuff, but the memory quilts, when you hand somebody that quilt and they just, they just light up because they remember each and every piece of clothing that their daughter wore when they see that quilt. And so you'll see in the, these two pictures that uh, 
that those were for her and and uh, I'm sure that one day uh, her daughter will uh, just cherish those and she'll be able to pass them down for generations it's really exciting I've also been working on uh, developing a website and uh, we're in the mid stages of the construction with the website and uh, I think that's going to be a really awesome place for people to go who might be interested in ordering like t-shirt quilts or the memory type of quilts or even a traditional patchwork type of quilt. We're also going to offer uh, different downloads for some of my patterns like the B pattern uh, will be on the website and then uh, after we learn about the digitizing software with the embroidery machine and we make some of our own custom embroidery designs we're going to offer those as uh, downloads on the website too so uh, just keep me in mind and and I'll keep you updated with the progress with that so today we're going to show you and we're going to demo the couching foot on a Nolting Pro series and I guess the couching foot for the Nolting uh, it would be you could use it on any of the different Nolting machines uh, if you're interested in purchasing a couching foot I did look this morning and they have them on the Nolting.com uh, website so uh, check them out if if this is something that you might be interested in uh, I'll tell you when I was shopping for a long arm the couching foot was a must-have feature for me and there's a few long arms on the market that don't offer that uh, as one of the feet that are even available for a long arm machine but Nolting was was one of the ones that do and so that was that was one of the checks that uh, I got to mark off on my list when determining which long arm I was going to go with what I love about doing the couching is that it turns your quilt and in, into almost like a multimedia type of art because you not only have the different fabrics that you've you've constructed your quilt with you're able to add like cotton or poly you know all the different types of yarns and uh, really change the dynamics of your quilt you'll see with felines and foliage I was able to use uh, a variegated yarn just as an accent within uh, some of the blocks um, you'll also see on the maple leaf quilt that I was able to go around the applique and just add uh, a different colored border which really makes the leaves pop right off of the background of that quilt and also in the in the border I was able to do half circles with yarn and it uh, just added another level of design to that quilt which took it from being beautiful to like oh my glory look at this quilt you know it just really stands out uh, on Spongebob you'll see that around the eyes I did some black yarn couching and it helped with that because doing applique that fine of a line around his eyes would have taken me forever and so the yarn really act as like um, as a border material as you know just something that uh, went in and it gave some division between his eyes and the yellow background on the family tree quilt I was also able to use the yarn around the leaves again and uh, as the vines through the leaves um, and then the little stems and uh, it really just to me it, it added a little bit of personality to that quilt although I really think that that quilt was super special it didn't need any extra personality but it did uh, just add some highlights and, and some different direction with that quilt. So let's talk about doing some couching work with Mr. Bobbins here. You'll see a picture of the couching foot and you'll notice or you might not be able to see it so well that there's a small hole at the bottom of this foot and so the yarn actually gets fed through, through with your uh, quilting thread and as you're stitching along the um, the needle and the thread hold down your yarn everywhere you stitch uh, one thing to keep in mind with this foot is that um, it's pretty much a one size all for now I'm really hoping that maybe Nolting will come out with a, a foot that has a little bit wider or, or bigger hole at the bottom so that maybe I can bring up uh, 
the different kinds of yarns that I use, you, you'll find that the thinner yarns feed through this couching foot uh, a lot easier than maybe some of your thicker yarns. Or even, uh, like I've noticed, Red Heart solid color yarn tends to be a little bit thicker than maybe the Red Heart very variated colored yarn. So um, keep that in mind if you are planning to purchase a couching foot and some yarn, you'll want to see what feeds through your, your foot. Uh, relatively simple. So, are you ready to get started? We're going to move the camera and we're going to show you a close-up and uh, show you the steps that I do when I'm decorating my quilt with some yarn. Okay guys, you can see I got the bee quilt with the borders on and it's on the frame and we are about halfway done with the quilting. And you uh, remember from my previous videos, this is one of the quilts that uh, I wanted to get done this year and so we are almost finished with that. I thought it would be really cute to uh, do a little flight a flight trail from the bee. And so we're going to do that with our black yarn today in the couching foot. And so to get started, you would bring up your bobbin thread like you normally would. Okay, and go back to your entry point. You're going to take your black yarn and then there's a space between your needle and the foot. And you're going to place it just in between there and bring it down to the bottom where you're going to catch that thread and pulling it towards you, you're pulling this top thread out like a V, okay? And I'm holding my uh, both threads with this hand. I'm going to hold the yarn as well. I'm just going to do a stay stitch just like this. And you can pull the yarn right through there, okay? And so I'm just going to pull that all the way through. Now you can see that the yarn just goes right through that hole. We'll get all of our threads situated here. Just like so. Keep in mind that you're going to want to have uh, enough yarn pulled out so that you have some slack. Uh, if it's really tight in there, what you'll find is if you start to do any kind of curving uh, or some kind of wiggling pattern, that if the yarn is really taut, you're not going to catch all the stitches in the yarn and you're going to have uh, some places in there where uh, it's not going to stay where you want it to stay. So make sure you have plenty of slack with your yarn. To get started, I hold my yarn, my top thread, and my bobbin thread. Just hold that in a tight position. And I do a couple of stay stitches, just small stitches back and forth, barely moving the machine at all. But what that does is it grabs the yarn and it uh, just keeps it there in place. So we are ready to start stitching now. So what we'll do is we're going to do a little flight pattern and we're going to go up and do a couple swirlies and we're going to go and we're going to finish at the border of the quilt. And just like so. Now, when you get to the end, you're going to want to also do a couple of little uh, stay stitches just to tack that down securely, just like so. Alright, now to finish it off, I usually cut myself a small little tail close to the foot. And then we're going to just stitch right over top of this in the same direction as um, the little flight path, okay? I just go over it a couple times just like so and now we can just do um, our end stitches we're going to bring the bobbin thread to the top I'm going to show you that if you have some loose yarn to 
towards the end or even the beginning that you can just go in because that's that's stitched down really tight you can just trim any of the loose stuff that maybe didn't get caught with that tail as it was stitched down and then you can come back and just trim this hey you guys as you can see this yarn is stitched down really really well this can be laundered through your regular washer and dryer I've done several quilts and they they stand up really good through your normal laundry so if you want to do it on a quilt that you know is going to get some use like on your bed or on a on a quilt maybe that you use on the sofa at night when you watch TV or you're going to give it as a gift um, maybe to a younger child who's going to really love your quilt and use it be confident that uh, the stitching will hold up and hold that yarn to where it's supposed to go I really think that it adds a lot of character to this quilt and I'm really pleased with it I know it was a short little demo I didn't want to take up a lot of your time today and, and uh, I look forward to doing more videos with the couching foot maybe in some more extensive um, projects where we get to use it more uh, it's just this came up and I was really excited and wanted to show you how it works uh, thanks for coming back and watching and uh, if this kind of video is something that interests you I strongly uh, suggest that you subscribe down below to my YouTube channel and also check me out on Facebook at Lisa Cape and Quilts and uh, Pinterest and Twitter and Instagram um, stay tuned for that website like I said we're halfway through the construction and so uh, it's gonna be some time before that's published but we're excited about uh, the progress we're making there as well and uh, I hope to make videos a little bit sooner than what we did this last time but you can see we've been really busy and uh, and that's a good thing staying busy small business ownership is hard and uh, you work and you work and you work but the awesome thing is I love what I do and so it's really not like working at all and especially when you get to do stuff like this you know in your spare time um, thanks again for watching uh, leave your comments below uh, any questions with the questions I really suggest you go over to the uh, Facebook page because I'm really active over there and I get alerts on my phone and so uh, the interaction is a lot quicker through the Facebook page so remember Lisa Cape and Quilts on Facebook thanks again for watching you guys stay tuned for what we have coming up and uh, look uh, forward to maybe some uh, embroidery in the next couple of videos thanks you guys have a great weekend bye